Hey guys, my name is Will Kirkpatrick. I'm a nursing educator in Site Corsetta, and today we're going to make nursing delegation super easy for you to understand. So on your nursing exams and on the NCLEX, you're going to have questions about what you should or should not delegate. So the easiest way to understand that is just by remembering what you should not delegate. So I want you guys to remember this mnemonic, eat up. So eat up, this is what you should not delegate. So any nurse, when you have a nursing scenario question that goes over something like this, then you should not delegate it. So what does the E stand for? E stands for evaluation. So anytime there is an evaluation. So let's say your nursing scenario, they ask you if you should delegate to a LPN or an unlicensed professional on a evaluation of a medication response. You should never delegate anything that requires an evaluation of what a response is to what you did earlier. So a really common scenario they'll give you is if you gave a pain medication an hour earlier and you're supposed to evaluate the response to that pain medication, you don't go delegate it to an LPN or an unlicensed professional because it's the RN's duty to evaluate. So A stands for assessment. So you don't want to delegate to any unlicensed professional or an LPN an initial assessment or an assessment after a certain intervention. A common scenario with this is they'll have a patient that's coming back from surgery well, you have to do your initial assessment there, your admission assessment, so you don't go delegate that to an LPN or unlicensed professional because, once again, that's the nurse's job. Now, guys, key term. You might notice with a lot of these that if there's any word that says initial in it, then it's the RN's duty because the RN is supposed to initiate the bedside care. You don't go delegate that to an LPN or an unlicensed professional. So if there is an answer option that says initial, then it's most likely something you should not delegate. Hey, guys, it's Wilker Patrick, nursing educator in Psych Corsetta. I want to let you guys know that I will help you with anything you need at any time if you just send me a text at 940-218-4062, 940-218-4062. Let's get back to the video. T is for teaching. You should not delegate teaching. So anything that's initial teaching, of course, or any teaching regarding their care, you should not delegate that to any other professional. U stands for unstable. So if you have a patient with any unstable vital signs, they have a recent change of condition, you should not delegate for a LPN or an unlicensed professional to look at them. And then lastly, P. P stands for planning. So any type of nurse care planning, that is the RN's job. You don't go delegate that as well. Now, what are some common interventions that they'll put on your nursing exam questions or in the NCLEX? Well, the nurse should never delegate these interventions. IV pushes, IV sedations, blood transfusions, and central line drugs. So understanding what you should not delegate is the most important as that will be the most common thing they'll ask about for those types of concepts in your nursing exams and the NCLEX. But let's go over what you can delegate as a nurse. So if you're delegating to an unlicensed professional, so you're like your PCT or an STNA, some people call it the CNA, your nursing assistant, you can delegate ADLs that are, of course, patient-specific and case-by-case, -case, but in general, you can delegate ambulating or helping with turning, of course, toileting care, bathing, eyes and nose, feeding, vital signs and weight. But something that they'll commonly test you about, specifically with unlicensed professionals, you never tell them to go give meds because they absolutely cannot ever give any meds. Or even if they're watching your patient take the meds, that is not okay. That is the RN's job. And then going over the LPN, so this depends state by state, depending on what the state regulations are. But in general, you want to delegate LPNs. You can delegate them patient tasks such as wound care, for example. And then you want to delegate them stable patients. You don't ever delegate them an unstable patient. But LPNs can give most medications, but they cannot give IV push medications in general or IV sedation medication. They are also not able to do any blood transfusions but on RN supervision. And once again, guys, no initial assessments, evaluations, or planning. All right, guys, I hope that helped you understand nursing delegation. If this video is helpful, make sure you guys give us a follow and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Hey guys, first of all, thank you so much for watching the video entirely through. It makes our day if we know that nursing school got a little bit easier after watching one of our videos. If you guys like this video, make sure you like it, subscribe to the channel for more, and drop down in the comments for any more ideas that you need help with nursing school. If you want to contact me personally, it's 940-218-4062. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next video.